Hi folks, G4ZTD here with his uh, latest project. It's a um, PC temperature sensor uh, with one, two, three, four temperature probes. And uh, as you can see from the display, monitor the CPU, the case I put down as SIS system, hard disk drive, and power supply temperatures. Um, this is part one of the, uh, the video. Once I've installed it into the PC case, um, I'll uh, I'll do part two. Them relays, uh, when these temperatures get below the preset levels, uh, which I can't remember what I set them to at the moment because it's under experimentation at the moment. Um, them relays energise uh, in sympathy with each one of these readings. So if the CPU trips, one of them will trip. S system one, the, another one will trip, and so on and so forth. It looks a bit messy at the moment because it's just a lash up. But uh, I'll just show you that it does indeed actually work. Um, I'll, uh, I'll put my soldering iron on, uh, on this sensor here, and we'll observe the, uh, the display. Uh, am I on it? Yes, I'm on it. That seems to be... Uh... Oh, there it goes. That's the power supply probe I'm connected to at the moment. And I'll leave it on, see if we can hear the click of the relay. Yeah, just heard it. I know whatever you did, but uh, so obviously I've set up to forty, and now I'll, I'll, I'll try this one at the back here and uh, see which one goes up. CPU one, I think. Yes, it is. Now I know I've set that for seventy degrees because the uh, temperature of the CPU, in my case, is seventy-five degrees uh, optimum. I've set it for seventy. Um, when I say optimum, I mean maximum. I do apologise. Uh, so I've set it for 70 and it will cool it down to about 55 um, before the fan stops. And uh, so on and so forth. Uh, I don't know if I can test this one without burning anything. Let's have a look. See which one goes up. Yep, the odd disk drive one's going up, look. There it goes, 25, 26. And then there's this one. Let me just move that out of the way a bit. I want to burn my cables. They're very close. And there it goes, the system one or the case one is now going. Uh, so they're all independent. Let me put my soldering on away and bring a, a glass of water in to the equation. And uh, what I'm going to do is just dump this sensor in that water. And we'll monitor. And there it goes. The power supply one is uh, is dropping quite rapidly. I can assure you, it works on all of them uh, quite successfully. So uh, I'll uh, I'll be putting these on my website um, eventually under the Arduino heading. And uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Bye for now, until part two.